Welcome back guys to Essex Foraging and Fishing. I am Joe and today we are fishing. Today's destination is Holland on Sea and we're going for a nighttime tide. High tide is about quarter to one in the morning. The time now is quarter to seven, six hours, so the tide should be turning right now. And it's on its way up. We are going to a deep water mark about five miles south of Walton on the Naze, where we were last week. Let's see what we can get. Okay, so Holland on Sea. Love this mark, absolutely love it. There are, it's, it's a really deep water mark. This isn't going to work very well, is it? Because I've got the sun right here. There we go. Oh, I just stand like this. No, I'll go here. There we go, should we go here? That's better. Right, as I was saying, Holland on Sea is an amazing deep water mark. It's, a, it's, um, it's very well known for rays. Hey, there we go, we need to go this side now. Hey, there we go, that's better. Rays, big, big thornback rays. Uh, it's very well known for bass as well. Dover sole this time of year. You get the odd eel every now and again. Um, so and maybe, who knows, we're only five miles down the coast. We could be lucky to get a codling tonight. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going for tonight. I will show you all the rigs. I'm gonna go through all the baits. We need to change over sides, that's better. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to tonight. It's just me on my own. Um, it's nearly seven o'clock. High tide is caught at one. Fishing the, fishing the whole surge and probably maybe a little bit of the ebb. We'll see, see how I'm feeling. Uh, that's about it really, that's all I've got to tell you. Let's go to Holland on Sea and uh, let's get set up and we will crack on from there. But first, um, I've realized I'm absolutely starving. Time to get some fuel. Hello, uh, could I get uh, a big tasty on its own? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Cheers, thank you. Crew's not ready yet. Well, got me drink, that'll do for now. That'll do, pig, that'll do. Right, so we're on the strip, the main promenade of Holland on Sea. Conditions, not a breath of wind, warm, say 19 degrees out there. I think it's 19 degrees, it's not that warm. It's very misty out at sea, there's a lot of works going on at the wind farm as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to Brighton Road, which some of you will know if you're going to watch this. Brighton Road is where I park, it's pretty much a road opposite the main stretch um, where there's toilets uh, and that's where I park and that's, then all I have to do is walk down the hill straight to the beach. Done. I'll show you right now. Brighton Road. Right guys, we're here. Just came down that pathway there. 
that's led me right to the beach. Look at that. I have the whole beach to myself. The beach is currently out, oh, the beach. The tide is currently out right now. Obviously it's there. It's only gonna come up to about there. And it's really, really deep, all here. So hopefully, this is where the ray and bass are gonna be chilling out. It's very calm though. Very, very calm. I don't know if you can see the wind farm in the back. Right there. It's very, very misty out there. They're doing a lot of work on the wind farm at the moment. Right guys, we are set, finally. Look how misty it looks out there. And there are flies absolutely everywhere. Mosquitoes, sand flies, the lot. Right, let me tell you quickly what we've got here. So on this one here, boom, we got a three hook flapper, all ragworm. All ragworm is on that one. And on this one we have a pulley panel. Pulley panel rig with a whole squid with two O hooks on, no, three O hooks on. I also have mackerel and peeler crab as another bait. Found some in the freezer, so I thought I'd give them a go. Target tonight, hopefully a thornback ray. This, this is a deep mark, so thornback rays are here. I know you can get some nice sized ones here. A codling would be nice because they are about a bass, a dover sole, what else could we get from here? There are flies, mosquitoes, and lots of sand fleas around at the moment. It's kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, I'm hopeful for tonight. High tide is about quarter to one. If I'm correct, the time now is around about quarter past eight. It gets dark so quickly. The summer nights have completely gone, just like that. Leaves are on the floor already and autumn is already here. The date is the 6th of September. It's a Monday and I'm fishing. The winds, if there are any, are northeasterlies and easterlies. They change through the night and they're only around about three to four mile an hour. So pretty non-existent. So yeah, next up I'll show you the bait, shall I? All right, so our baits this evening. I've got some squid. There you go. You can see that. Nice big squid. Some nice lively rag. Some frozen peeler crabs and some mackerel. So the mackerel, the crabs and the squid are gonna be going on my pulley panel rig and me ragworm and me squid will go on me flapper. So that's the baits I'm gonna be using for this evening. My rod and reel set up, it's my birthday. Early today I got two new Sonic SKA Blacks, 13 foot. I changed my red normal lights to me blue lights now. Got some new lights too. And some Sonic S SKS 8000 reels. Nice and clean, 18 pound line with 65 pound shock leader, which is out there somewhere. So yeah, that's my rod and reel set up. There's my bivvy. Still haven't really sorted out in there at the moment yet, but I will do. It's just been a bit of a rush because the light was so quickly just went, the light went quickly. Obviously the wind is pretty much non-existent, so I don't necessarily need that bivvy. It's a bit of a magnet really for the flies, isn't it? Over there in the, in the background, right there, you can see Clacton Pier. Good old Clacton, past that you've got Jaywick, you don't really want to know about that. Fishing you might want to, but um, not, not the town. Um, and obviously that way, obviously you see another little angle there. Nice old boy, he came over, he said, hello Matt. I said, I'm not Matt, I'm Joe. Um, I don't know who Matt is, so Matt must be somewhere else. Um, and over there, on the other side, is Frinton and then Walton, where I was the other night. 
So yeah, that's about it. We'll get you in the light so you can see everything better. That's my setup. Right, bit of a quiet start, but at the moment, started off with one of these again. He just went on the sand. Pat Wyan. See, on my other rods, that would have just gone boom, 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 boom. But this one was just like a little vibration. And these rods are a lot better, aren't you? Half sand, half not. He's tiny. I'll get him back. That was on a two hook flapper. I changed it over. The two hook flapper, both on rag. And uh, that pretty much went instantly. But I'd like something better than a pouting. So, hopefully, we'll see you in a bit. We're only 20 minutes in. Right, okay, so, um, christened the rod with a pout white in. Yeah, that'd be, that's kind of good. I still want to christen one on uh, that, this one, that one, that's the one. I've just changed that over. The uh, mackerel, uh, sorry, the squid hadn't been touched, so I've, I've done half a mackerel fillet, wrapped it in elastic, and that's gone back out on the pulley panel rig. Obviously, I caught the pout whiting on the two hook flapper on ragworm, and I've just started to get more bites on that again. So there seems to be a lot of whiting about, pout whiting. Hopefully, I'm going to get some bass turn up soon. Might tip it with squid. Um, yeah, I'm seeing bites, I'm seeing bites, so that's good. That is good, I just wanna see some decent fish now, instead of the little ones just taking the absolute pee. It's all good though, it's good to be out, it's a calm night, no wind at all, apart from this. See my bivy? A little breeze, a little breeze. Do enjoy fishing the night. No one's about. No one can bother you. You're on your own. Apart from Jeffrey down the street there. He's on his own. He he he's he ain't bothered me at all. It's lovely. Alright, I need a fish. I need a big fish and I want a, I want a thornback grey. I really want a big thornback grey. That is my target right now. That is what I want to get. Not really much else to show you. As it stands, um, I've used all my fish baits now. On my pulley panel, I've used crab. Crab's out there now. Mackerel before that, squid I've used. Um, and I've done, on the on the pulley panel rig, not the pulley panel rig, the flapper rig. I'm getting tired now, because it's getting a little bit quiet. Um, on the flapper rig, I've just been using all my ragworm up and tipping it with squid every now and again. Um, when I tip it with squid, it doesn't really get touched. When I have um, ragworm on there, then it does. There is some action on the ragworm. But that's it. Nothing else is being touched, really. The fish baits ain't going to be touched. It's a bit quiet, which is a shame. This place is really, really good. Maybe the easterly winds or the calm. The calm winds, for example, are playing havoc. Might be having something to do with it. Yeah. It's one of them sessions at the moment. It's only like 10 o'clock at the moment. I've only been here two hours. Them two hours haven't really produced as much as I'd hoped. But I have seen both bites on both rods. It's been nice. And I've caught on one of them, so. That's good. That them rods are gonna get a lot of fishing out of them. A lot. Yeah, no, it's just one of them things. Um quiet session. Hopefully it'll pick up, don't get me wrong. We still have if it's if it's nearly ten o'clock, we've still got three hours till our ties. Anything can happen. Witching hour's gone. Give it time. Give me time. I'll show you a few fish. Usually I'll show you a thorn bait. And this is one out of my two marks where I know I can get thorn bags pretty well. Uh, not what I wanted, but you know, it's all right. Oh, they're just so wriggly, mate. Stay still just for two minutes. See? Oh, whiting. Gotta love the whiting, eh? We'll get it back. 
Right now, I don't know if you'd call this a fish, but we can call this a, a, a fantastic live bait. We're going to be so translucent. Look at that. Smallest pout whiting I've ever caught. Right, it's got really, really, really quiet, which is uh, kind of frustrating and annoying, if I'm honest with you. Um, these sand flies are doing my head in. They're absolutely everywhere. Just itching your head, just constantly. Um, beautiful night, lovely night. The rods are biting purely just on ragworm. Um, that's about it, really. A whiting and two pat whiting so far. I don't know if I'm going to call it a night. It's a hard one because I even bought the stove tonight because I wanted to cook, hopefully, a bass. Um, but when you're too prepared, it doesn't really go your way, does it? Um, I will stick at it for a little bit longer. In case you guys wanted to know what these things look like. They are everywhere, jumping about. They are a nuisance. Now I've got a rag over there. They haven't actually touched. See all these sand fleas everywhere? For people that wanted to know what sand fleas were, this is what they look like, and they just jump around everywhere in the sand. And it does get unpleasant sometimes. As always guys, remember to bin your rubbish. All right, Holland, I've had better I've had better sessions with you. All right, let's take me little trolley and rods. Good old bivy up that hill. All the way up there get the car packed right well that wasn't a great session uh, that was pretty poor if I'm honest with you um, obviously I'll work a little bit on the video to make it look, look a little bit nice but this ain't the end of the video I'm looking to go fishing in the daytime uh, with my wife uh, somewhere different than Holland because this is a beach and there are still people about so I'm going to be going hopefully to a sea wall. You guys might know it, you guys might not. But I'm going to go there tomorrow and we're going to see what else we can get in a couple of hours session. Right, good morning guys. Um, well, good morning to me anyway. I don't know when you're watching this. Not a cloud in sight, not wind in sight either. I'm going to try and go now. I'm going with the wife today. Yeah, Hi. there she is. Uh, we're going to go fishing for bass and we're going to Row Hedge. I haven't fished there before. So basically we're going to be going there, setting up, doing about three hours. High tide is around about one, 20 past one, I think it is. Um, at the moment it's currently half past nine. So we should get there and set up by half past ten. Three hours, fish it up and maybe an hour down. Um, and hoping for some bass. Fishing today, I'm only going to go get some worm. That's all I'm going to get. Monica, we've got like a light fishing rod here. Little old school carp rod there. Um, she's going to use that and we're going to, she's going to do a bit of spinning. Last summer she caught a bass spinning in the uh, in the marina in Tolsbury. Um, she wants to give it a go again. So we're going to be, do a bit of that. I might do a bit of float fishing. Again, in Essex, we don't really do that. 
Um, so I might have a, a float set up that I'll have to show you if I decide to do it. But just today, the baits will be ragworm. You never know, we could get a flounder. Doubt we'll get a sole because I don't think it's going to come up that far up the estuary. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do today. So let's go to Roe Hedge. We're at Row Hedge, just fishing with one rod at the moment. Two hook flapper, ragworm. This is the second cast. At the moment, nothing. Uh, bait just been completely been stripped. And Monica is on the other side. Just doing some spinning. Lovely day. Lovely day. But at the moment, I've got, I've got my second rod out. Oh, I've got my second rod set up, but I ain't got it out yet. Just want to keep on going with the first one really until I start seeing some bites. I did have a bite. It did rattle. But it was only a little rattle. Hopefully, we'll see some bass. Hence the spinning. I'll quickly show you the bait. Well, I'm using this ragworm today. Okay. Some nice ragworm there from our local supplier this morning so yeah this is our location obviously in the background you can see Wivenhoe and obviously this follows the sea all the way up all the way around and now into the sea up there so it goes to Wivenhoe then Owlsford up the creek and then all the way up to Brighting Sea and then we're hitting St Osifs into the into the sea and then down that way so you got Row Hedge in the background. This, will, this, this is the River Colne. This will follow all the way down to Colchester. So yeah, lovely spot. I haven't fished here before. I'm hoping it fishes quite nicely today because this is just on my doorstep and I'd love to fish here quite often instead of traveling the extra half an hour to the beach. Well, let's see how it goes, shall we? I think we've got about two hours till high tide. I'm going to be using the two hook flapper. Put my bait on. Ragworm, I use a needle. This two hook flapper is done by one up, one down. And uh, these ones were made by the blind angler. Good friend of mine. Now, I've been changing, I've changed over my two hook flapper rigs because this one has floating beads on it. And I feel like the estuary has a lot of crabs and I'm, I'm not getting any bait left on. So basically, when this floats, this is the, 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 the weight will be on the seabed. And so the, the, 
the bait itself will float above the weight and keep off the seabed so the crabs won't get it. Well that's the idea anyway and hopefully we can start seeing some fish. We are near high tide now so we'll get it out there and hopefully I can show you a bass or a flatty, a flounder or something. Um, we'll get it out. If this doesn't work then the fish went out today. So yeah let's have a look shall we? There we go, it seems to have worked. Lovely, little scorny bass. Ah. That'll do. There we go guys, little scorny bass. Hey, good, there we go fish. We'll get her back. And she's straight off. All right, so that rig worked. Mr. Blind Angler's rig worked. The floating bees worked, so I put re, re Rebaited her up. She's got ragworm out now. These boats are an absolute pain in the backside. But hopefully that will start to go now, and hopefully we'll get a bit more bigger bass. But that is half an hour before high tide. Now we've been here for about two out two hours really, and uh, yeah, not so bad at all. It's a nice view. It's lovely here. Really calm. One is in the background. Coast of that way with the rest of Row Hedge. In the background there we've got Wivano. Nice. It's lovely here. Monica's into a bite. She's got a fish are biting now. She's given up on the uh, the lures. They don't work. Nice little schoolie there, darling. Well done. And that's it. Bring it up. Top hook again. Well done. That's it. Um, I don't know. They're just little tiny schoolie bass. We'll get it off the hook and we'll get you and we'll show you a bit better. Well done, darling. Well done. Finally. Finally. Lure fishing doesn't work in Essex. There you go. So last time, Monty held the bass with a cloth. It doesn't do the scales any good. So basically, best thing to do, I need to wipe the camera a little bit. That's better. Put your finger in his mouth. Hold the body there. There you go. Nice little schooly bass there. Get it back. Should swim off pretty well. There you go, fishy, fishy. Gone. Well done, darling. Okay, so again, just a nice little knock, nothing too crazy. We're in again. I only just put this out. And again, it's just a nice little schoolie. Lots of schoolie bass about. Top hook again, ragworm. All right, we'll get her off the hook and I'll get you a better show. So a nice little schoolie bass there. See? Get it back in the water. Show the water, one. See if she swims off nicely. Off you go. And she's gone. Happy days. It's a good little sport now. We're near a high tide. Scorpy bass are coming. Let's get a few more. You can't fish it at low tide. This is all mud. All of it is mud at low tide. So around about three hours before high tide, you can get your, wine, uh, your line wet and you can crack on fishing. What comes in here at the moment, obviously bass. 
you do get the odd flounder not really any dover sole that's about it you get bass i reckon you can get whiting down here as well especially at night time just keeping an eye on my rod that last bass i just caught it was only in for like 20 seconds it's not going to go off anyway it's a good day out especially if you've got kids it's safe you got the barriers all around and you can even go crabbing with the kids off the side of this very very safe so i might i should have brought the crabbing line really that'd have been good wouldn't it see what it was about um maybe you get smooth hounds in may that come down this far i doubt it i doubt it we're about 10 miles out from the sea maybe a little bit less maybe eight miles so obviously the powerful fish come in with the tide and they obviously go back out with it so so far so good it's really really nice i want to try this destination on a nighttime tide definitely um it would just be nice to see some bigger bass showing up really but we haven't planked this is the first time we've come here we've got three schoolies two for myself one for the wife well done money she's happy and uh yeah i mean we haven't got long until we've got to go and get on with our normal daily routine things but um so i'm quite happy with what what, what we've what we've, what we've caught today so we, we came for bass today we got bass so not huge but you know can't complain Okay, fish number three. Getting a little bit bigger. Nothing too crazy though. Right, stay still, stay still. Bass are very, very sharp. Especially on their dorsal fin. Oh. Okay. Got him, don't worry, he's alright. I got him. Lovely. Number three, let's get it back out again. All right guys, so that's about it. Um, not bad today. Three scorly bass for myself, one for the wife, in Row Hedge, in Essex. That's not bad. One nighttime session, one daytime session. I thought I'd put the both together. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, if you haven't already, uh, like and subscribe. If you could, that'd be great. It's for free, don't cost anything. And uh, there's a lot more content to come, guys. So thank you very much. Stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one, which will be soon.